In this video, let's see another topic based on the concept of matrices which is known as properties. That means we have already seen few operations on matrices like addition, subtraction, scalar multiplication and multiplication of matrices. In this video, we are going to see the operations on matrix addition. That means we will be basically taking into consideration only matrix addition and we will be seeing the properties. The first property is already written in the form of heading which is commutativity. Now commutativity as we already know is what? That means if there are say two numbers 2 and 3, what is the result of 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is 5. What about 3 plus 2? If I say 3 plus 2 then also the result is what? It does not change. It is 5 only. So this is known as commutativity where what you do is the two operands which are involved or the two elements which are involved you add them and then you interchange their positions still the answer does not change. That is commutativity. So in case of matrices wherein the order is same then only matrix addition is possible. In those cases commutativity exists in the form as if I have two matrices wherein A and B these are the names of the matrices. If I do A plus B the result is same as the case I do B plus A. This is known as commutativity of matrices. Note that A and B are two matrices of the same order because only then what is possible? Matrix addition is possible. Right? Now suppose I have the case wherein I take A matrix, I already generalize it for all the cases. I will be taking A as a matrix which is Aij and the order is M by N. And in this video all those things which we will be using is another that is a matrix B. And the matrix B will be such that it will be denoted as Bij and again it will be M by N only. So I have two matrices A and B. And these I will be using whenever I need it. Now A plus B is equal to B plus A. Let's see how to do it. I know that the elements of A are denoted as Aij, elements of B are denoted as Bij. Now taking the first case that is A plus B. A plus B is what? It is basically Aij plus Bij. So A plus B if I take Ij that is Aij plus B i j and this a i j plus b i j means first plus second is obviously same as second plus first. These both things are same and since these both things are same b i j plus a i j is what? It is b plus a. So it is basically what? It is b plus a i j. Now you tell me, did we not prove it? Yes, we did. We started with A plus B i j, we reached B plus A i j and I know A plus B is equal to B plus A wherein A plus B is equal to B plus A. See it again, what did we do? A plus B i j we started with, A was A i j, B was B i j, these both things are added. Now I already know that 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1. That means even if you interchange, nothing happens to the result. So that means what B plus A i j is also that only it is also A plus B i j only that is, that is there. Again to make it more beautiful let us separate this 4 from the i j's. Here I have this as i j and here this is 4 right. The first property is done of commutativity. Let us move to the second property which is associativity. Associativity most of you might have known it. Here we don't need two elements, we need one extra element. So we will not be considering only matrix A and B, rather we need a new matrix which matrix can be taken as C which is what? It is Cij and again the order should be same, it should be M by N only. So it is C matrix that will be taken into consideration. Now what is associativity basically? I know that if I have three elements, those three elements can be anything, say they are 1, 2 and 3 and I need to add them. What is the answer of this? And what is the answer of this? Both these answers we need to calculate and we need to check are they same or not. 1 plus 2 in the bracket means what? First you do 1 plus 2. What is 1 plus 2? That is 3 and then this plus 3 has to be done. So 3 plus 3 is 6. That is the answer. What about the lower case? 
lower cases 1 plus 2 you write 1 plus you write and then 2 plus 3 in the bracket you have you solve the bracket first 2 plus 3 becomes what it becomes 5 and what is 1 plus 5 it is 6 only so this is meant by associativity associativity means what that if you have three elements you first take the first two and then add the third one or you take first and then add the next two things don't change things are same only the result is same only this happens in case of matrix addition and hence i say that associativity is followed in case of matrix addition now i have written the heading here only for you which is associativity we'll be taking the example of a matrix let's again take the case of a plus b plus c a plus b plus c such that i have this case a plus b in the bracket first and then plus c now what is a plus b here then plus c i can write here ij also and for c also you know it is cij only it is aij plus bij in the bracket and then plus c so it is plus cij now we already know that the order is immaterial the arrangement is immaterial in case of addition so if it is aij plus bij plus cij wherein i have taken firstly the two elements i can take it also as aij copied as it is bij again copied as it is cij copied as it is wherein i take the bracket to the last two elements is it possible yes it is because the order of the matrices is the same now this can be replaced by what this can be replaced by matrix a this can be replaced by what it can be replaced by matrix b cij can be replaced by a new matrix which is matrix c now these things are in brackets so you can put in bracket now c a plus b plus c we started with we reached a plus b plus c i j that means associativity is yes it has been proved that if we have elements such that a plus b plus c exists wherein the first two have the brackets there also exists the case wherein we have a plus b plus c wherein the brackets are to the second and the third this is the case of associativity the former was the case of commutativity when these things are done let's move to the third property which is existence of identity element now we've already seen in the chapter relations and functions also what is identity identity element is that element which does not change my answer on applying the operation what is it let's see i know that for any number say the number is 1 or 5 if i need these numbers back again by applying the plus sign i need 1 and 5 again what do i need to add to these numbers to give me 1 again to give me 5 again the number that has to be added is only one thing that is 0 because 0 on addition does not change the number's value so in this case what is the identity element it is 0 so i would be saying identity element is equal to 0 this was the case of numbers what is the case of a matrix now let's see what happens to a matrix i have a matrix say the matrix is 2 5 3 8 what matrix do i need to add to give me back the same matrix 2 5 3 8 2 5 3 8 is here 2 5 3 8 is here after equal to sign so if i need 2 from 2 what do i need to add nothing that is 0 and same goes with the other elements so that means the matrix that has to be added to a given matrix a to obtain a back is what it is only and only a zero matrix or a null matrix so the identity element or the existence of identity topic focuses on this only that yes i know that in case of any matrix that i have say i have a matrix a the matrix which has to be added can be zero matrix only which will give me back a no other matrix will give me back a and a plus 0 according to commutativity is equal to 0 plus a only so this is the formulation of identity element where we have a plus 0 which gives me a and it is also equal to 0 plus a wherein my 0 is what it is 
a matrix which is known as a null matrix that we already know null matrix why because the all elements of this matrix are zero or it can be also known as a zero matrix again why zero because all elements of this matrix are zero last but not the least when you have understood the three previous properties we have existence of inverse now again for those who have studied relations functions properly they know what is inverse inverse is basically what inverse is what needs to be added to the given thing so as to get the identity again i repeat it with the help of an example i know that i have 1 as a number and i have 3 as a number say these two numbers are given to me 1 and 3 what do i need to add to these numbers to give me the identity what is the identity identity is always zero so actually my question is something like this what needs to be added to 1 to give me zero what needs to be added to 3 to give me 0? This is 1 and 3. So for 1, what do I need to add? 1 plus minus 1 will give me 0 because plus minus will be cancelled out. Similarly, I have 3 here and what needs to be added to 3? Minus 3 to give me 0. Why 0 only we took into consideration? Because 0 is what? It is the identity. So that means the inverse is what? Inverse in the first case is minus 1. Inverse in the second case is minus 3 and that is the answer. Similarly, in case of matrix, now we will see what happens when we know in case of numbers. In case of matrix, if I have a matrix A which is given to me and I need to add something to give me a 0, what do I need to add? I need to add minus A so as to give me 0. So yes, that is known as your inverse that if you have a given matrix A and you need 0 from it, you have to add minus A, so minus A is the inverse. That means if you have A i j and you need to add something to give a 0 matrix, you need basically what? You need minus A i j which is the inverse. Let's take an example of a matrix also. I have a matrix, any matrix you can take, it is an A matrix which is 5, 3, 9. Now this matrix you know is what? It is a row matrix with one row and three columns. So it is 1 by 3. What is the inverse of this matrix? The inverse of this matrix is basically if you have A, you have to do minus A. That is the inverse. So the inverse would be what? The inverse matrix will be something which will give me zeros at the end. So it has to be something again 1 by 3 matrix. And it has to be 5 here, so it will be minus 5 here. Because only then 5 minus 5 will be 0. So it is basically minus 5, minus 3 and minus 9. So basically you are going to do what? You are going to do the negative. Why negative? Because in case of addition, only minus of that will give me finally the identity which was 0. So in this video, we saw what? We saw few properties based on the concept of matrix addition.